So, Brenna, tell me about your latest creation. And what should we start with? The shiny <laughs> box or the dangerous power supply? Probably the shiny box because that's where all the action happens. That's where the action is. <laughs> awesome. So, I have this box, uh -huh. and on either side of the box, there are two sheets of copper foil. Mm -hmm. Copper is a very conductive metal, that's why mm -hmm. I used it. Mm -hmm. And in the middle. It's also shiny. Yes, <laughs> it is shiny. So that's why I would use it. <laughs> and then I have a piece of mesh, which is also metal, mm -hmm. um, so it's also conductive. Not as conductive as the copper, but mm -hmm. still pretty good. Mm -hmm. and, and then they're connected to some blue wires. Yes, they mm -hmm. are. And then in the inside, we have some little folded pieces of tin foil. Mm -hmm. So the, you'll see what happens in a minute. But mm -hmm. I, I've connected these to three wires. Mm -hmm. So the wires touch each panel. So there's two on the copper and then one on the mesh. So this is a, a power supply. It's uh -huh. about 1.5 kilovolts, so 1,500 volts, uh -huh. which sounds like a lot, but it's not enough to kill you. It <laughs> does hurt, though. It does hurt you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it well, is hurty. And can we can we just like check this oh, thing yeah. out and see like yeah. how how sparky this is? So 1,500 volts, and and this is black. So black means like that's the scary one. Yes, right? this is live. These are the ground. So you can have the scary one. Yes. I feel really okay. <laughs> if that's cool with you. Yeah. So and so yours is now scary. Mm -hmm. Mine is grounded. So mine's at zero volts. Yours is at 1500 yes. volts. Yes. And if we bring them near to each other, we get a little sparky. Get zaps. Yeah, and it's actually that's not such a big. It's not so, it's not like a lightning bolt. It's just no, a little kind of no. little spark. But it does hurt. <laughs> oh yeah. I have no doubt. I have no yes. doubt that it would. So it is hurty. Awesome. But. So that's the kind of voltage that we got. Yes. Awesome. So I'm gonna. We're gonna touch these together to discharge them. Awesome. Oh, by the way, too, and this power supply comes from. I think it comes from a laser. From a laser. I was not told. I think, <laughs> so. I think this is a, I think it's from an old supermarket scanner yes. laser. Yes. Because I seem to recall we got a bunch of those back in yes. the day. Yes. So. So awesome. Awesome. Alrighty. So then, how do we hook them? So this one, which is my ground. That is a ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook the live in the middle and two okay. grounds on the side. Okay. So we're just going to connect those like that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put the live in the middle. Live in the middle. So I'm going to have a 1500 volts here and I got zero volts yes. here and zero volts here. Yes. Okay. So go ahead and turn it on. We'll just see what happens. Awesome! And we have little, the little spheres are bouncing yes, back and forth. Yes, they yeah. bounce back and forth. They're rocking. That's <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, and they, they'll keep going like that as long as you have this power supply plugged in. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. So if I had to guess what's happening, it looks like I'm going to have an electric field inside here. Mm -hmm. And then I have little conducting bits. And they're going to get attracted to this plate here, which mm -hmm. is charged, because if you have a charged object, little conductive bits will be attracted to it. Yes. Then they touch it. Ooh, but now they get the same charge as it. Yes. So they have to get rid of it somehow. Oh gosh, they have to get so they bounce to the other and side. They go to the other side. And then they touch yep. to that, but then they get their charge away. Yep. And now they're attracted to the <laughs> charge away. And so they're just transferring they just charge back keep and forth. Going. Oh my gosh, so this is basically what's happening inside here. I'm just transferring charge from the black wire to the yellow yep. wire, but not by sparks, yep. but by spheres. Mm -hmm. So we have a little circuit going here. We have two circuits. We have a circuit here uh -huh. and a circuit here. Uh -huh. So, But how we're transferring the charge, like you said, is just through the little aluminum balls. And Yeah, and when you move it, gravity is stronger than the force of the electric field. So they can't move anymore, which is kind of interesting. So I had to play around a lot with this to get it to actually work because they can only be a certain distance away uh -huh. before it won't work anymore. That seems like it's much bouncier on one side than the other. Yes, and sometimes, so if you go ahead and shut that off, uh -huh. we're gonna look at this. It, it keeps oh going gosh, for a while. Going. Yeah. Oh, it, will it slow down as it discharges? It will, so this guy holds quite a bit of power and it'll just slowly slow down. And if I go ahead and connect this and discharge it, if I lift this up, these are kind of stuck oh, in there. Okay. And it's because they're so statically charged from oh, the electric I field see. that they don't want to move. So sometimes you have to kind of shake it to get them uh -huh. to go, and then we can reconnect it, and it'll it'll do it again. Awesome. Well, I like this. I like this because you're just like fearing charge, and I like what you're saying. It's like you're doing the same thing with the circuit. Mm -hmm. um, it's just I'm transferring yeah. charge with the spheres. That yeah, is. Oh, so yeah. see, now there this go. side is going, going more crazy. And I, th I didn't put as many balls in that side. That might be why, too. Yeah, 
Oh, that is really, really cool. <laughs> so what are you going to call this one? Do you have some work in titles? Um, well, we were kind of talking about it, and electrostatic ping pong is kind of cool. Um, I want to incorporate the word electrostatic because this doesn't have any static charge unless you run right, the electric right, current right, through right. it. Like so it. something like that. Do you have an idea for a name? Nope. nope. <laughs> nope. nope. That's not my daily. Like my, my, my jurisdiction is physics, and I can tell you uh. what's happening physically, but you have to do the creativity that's going to okay. be all on you. <laughs> cool. And then presumably this is going to go in some sort of, inside some sort of a box so that children oh, yeah. can't touch the hurdy bits. Yeah. <laughs> Just that much more exciting. I mean, that's option. Yeah, no, somebody would definitely cry getting shocked by this. Um, I think I'm going to put the whole thing uh -huh. in a box and then have like a button that oh, they can yeah. press. But and if you can push the button, then it's cool because I can say like, oh, I turn it off, they and keep going. keeps going. But they slow yeah. down. Yeah, yep. And if I'm sad because now it's not, the ping pong is not going as quickly, <laughs> and the fleas are not <laughs> jumping as vigorously. Turn it on. You can crank it back <laughs> there up you and go. There they go. <laughs> awesome. That's fantastic. Well, well played. I love this. <laughs> and it's just, I want to watch it. I want to watch it all day long. So I, I think I will. I okay. <laughs> yeah. Anytime. Well, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian.